I um, had to start again because I went over the 10 minutes and I'm not sure if uh, YouTube will cut me off. So I was on eye cream and I was talking about the Clinique All About Eyes that I like. And I think I was saying that I, I put it all around here and it feels really good. And um, that's my favorite eye cream. And it's, it's no fragrance. And it feels nice and cool. And I like it so much that a couple years ago I bought one for my mother and one for my sister-in-law. Because I thought everybody should have some because it feels so nice and cooling. But it wasn't doing any good over time. It wasn't causing any long-term improvements. It does feel nice and moisturized, you know, in the morning, but it didn't cause any long-term improvements, not with wrinkles, not with bags, not with discoloration, not even with moisturization over time. It just didn't improve anything. So I was so fed up with that that I started looking for other eye creams. So I started trying other things, and I had some samples from Sephora and Ulta, and there was a sample that I really liked, and now I can't remember what it was, but I almost bought that one. It was one of those Sephora fancy expensive brands. So I was um, kind of putting that off for a while. And then I got another sample that I liked even better, um, which was Murad. Mur a Murad eye cream sample. And I liked it so much that um, I bought it online. I bought it on Murad's website. They had a 20% off coupon. 20% uh, off that time and so I thought oh this is the perfect opportunity because these things are really expensive I don't know how much 40 or something I don't know 60 so it's so expensive that I was really happy to I was waiting for a 20% off um, opportunity whether it was in Sephora or on Murad or whatever. so I finally got to order it so it's Murad intense instant radiance plus eye cream it's also a, a nice little pot uh, Clinique has this little pot that looks smaller this one's bigger but it has the exact same amount of product this is 0.5 and this is 0.5 ounce and this product is a little thicker and has more body and I think it has silicone. It feels like, I don't know, I have to look up the ingredients for you, I guess. But it feels like silicone because it just, it stay, it fills in the lines and it's really super smooth, super smooth. Um, and it moisturizes, it keeps that moisturization all day and even, like I wake up in the middle of the night and I touch my skin under my eye and it still feels good that same nice smooth moisturized feeling so it seems like it keeps things moisturized like really a long time so what I do did I show you I, I filmed this and then I realized I wasn't filming so with my Clinique I put that all over my eye because it feels nice and cool and it's moisturizing the entire area which I really need so I thought I could do that with the Murad. I was going to use that instead of the Clinique because I was tired of Clinique not helping. So I just tried Murad and I used that and I put that all over my eye. But it hurt so bad. It stung so bad. My eyelids got st stung and red and bumpy and it was so painful. It was so painful. <laughs> so what I did is I went back to Clinique. And I use that all over my eyes. And then I put the Murad, I just put that under my eyes. Not all over. Not good. Don't do it. <laughs> so that's my moisturization uh, routine right now. And my skin feels really nice. I like it. And then um, other morning routine things I thought I'd mention while I'm here in my bathroom. I don't know if I'm going to be back here because I don't know what you think of the lighting. Um, but my favorite eye makeup remover right now is the Body Shop's eye makeup remover. Um, Body Shop always has sales, and the last time I bought this, I uh, ordered it online, and Body Shop had, like, buy 
three get three free or it was they had one of those really large sales which they're having right now and so I ordered three of them so I had I think I already went through two I think this is my last one but I really like this one um, it doesn't irritate again my I get really dried out from these things and my eyes are sensitive and it doesn't have a strong smell I don't think I don't think it smells at all and it's I like it you have to I have to use quite a bit um, but it works and um, it's not too expensive and I like it and then um, while I'm in here my brush cleaner is max brush cleaner that I always have one of these going because I use brushes all the time and after every day I'll pull one of my brushes out this is a Mac 109 I don't use this very often but I use it sometimes and after I use after I do my makeup I put my brushes in a glass jar actually it's where I keep my hairbrush a little glass jar and I stand these up in there too with all the dirty ones and then after I'm done putting on my makeup for the day I take a washcloth here's my washcloth and I pour the brush cleaner on there and then I rub each of the brushes till they're clean and I do that every day after I use them I don't do the full out washing brushes big time except when they're starting to get so that I still see product in them even though I wash them every day with the brush cleaner so maybe I don't know once every couple months or not very often <laughs> I might take them to the sink and pour some shampoo or actually dish soap and do a thorough cleaning job but every day I do this so I always have nice clean brushes every morning which I like so I think that's all for my daily routine kind of stuff oh the other thing is during the summer mostly I have to admit I don't do this during the winter but too much but in the spring and summer my favorite sunblock sunscreen is is oh, this is very clinique -y today a uh, clinique this particular clinique let's see if I can get it up close this yellow tube let me see what it's called it's just this one's SPF 50 there's also SPF 30 this is their face cream sunblock here's 30 and 50 and I love these again no fragrance sinks right in does not interfere with moisturizing or makeup or anything I after my moisturizer I in the summer I put another layer I put this on top and then I go with my makeup every day and it sinks right in it's great I love this stuff no fragrance or anything I don't know why everybody doesn't use this to tell you the truth it's I don't know how expensive it is it's not too all expensive it's I don't know I like buying it when Clinique has free gifts I like buying Clinique stuff when they have free gifts and stuff like that because they never go on sale so I like to purchase stuff when you get free gifts with it why not so I stocked up on um, this supply of the next few summers <laughs> worth of my sunscreen because um, this is great stuff for the face I love it and I think I guess I'll show you since I still have a minute um, I did get this year I got the Clinique comfort comforting cream cleanser to clean my face I really don't clean my face all that much I must say because I have this teeny weeny bathroom I'll have to show you sometime and all I have is a little sink I don't have counters or anything so if I clean my face and water goes I mean it just makes a mess I don't have any room to like clean anything or put anything or any spread out or anything so I'm very choosy about about cleaning products it has to just be something that it's not going to go all over and not going to make a mess so I put this on a, uh, a little drop a little a little drop on um, a washcloth and then I clean my face every once in a while when I feel I, I need to um, do some extra cleaning at the end of the day so I like that pretty much okay so that's all the time I have and I'll get to more favorites uh, after maybe my oatmeal bye